Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. Last time we finished up the old schoolhouse and some weird ass door appeared. But try as we might to open it, nothing happened and uh, we couldn't. So I guess we just need to head on back outside. It should be evening by this point. Maybe we'll get more bonding points or something. That'd be kind of nice. I love the evening sky. It's so pretty. It's pretty in this game and pretty in real life, too. Oh, yeah. That's right. That is a big change. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, if you were talking to Principal Van Dyke during the uh, NPC bonus episodes, you would know that he has, um, left. So, yeah. And I'll be doing all the NPC dialogue for Trista after we're done with Trista, so, eh, it is what it is. You guys didn't know that, but hey, whatever. Okay, leaders! Ooh! Get that nice dragon vision quartz and an additional bonding point that we can use for Laura as well as Elliot. I'm going to be, um doing both bonding events during the end slate of today, but the bonding event that I'm going to keep is going to be Laura's bonding event. So what I want to do right now is another quest down at the uh, Academy Field. There's a little hidden side quest over here, so let's go ahead and get this uh, started. By the way, that Dragon Vision Quartz, basically it gives you plus 10 strength, and if you are equipped with it and you kill an enemy, it will automatically analyze said enemy. So, it's kind of nice. If not just for, you know, the strength boost. That always comes in handy. An ink brush? Oh, like a calligraphy type brush? Like one of those ancient Chinese brushes? Or I guess in this case, Japanese brush. Oh! Who close to you had an interest in calligraphy? Uh, I don't know. My mother actually has an interest in calligraphy and painting. She is a, um, she's a painter. She does watercolor. And she's actually really, really good at it, too. I have a lot of her paintings hanging around my house and everything, so, yeah. Personally, I've never actually tried, really, to paint, so I don't know if I'm good at all. Oh, okay, so it was your master who was interested in Eastern calligraphy. But who else could possibly be interested in the same thing as Reen's former master? Oh, someone who is not supposed to be on campus today. Hmm, I wonder who that possibly could be. Eh, no problem. Thanks. Who? Okay. I think so. There's only one person that I know of who is not supposed to be on campus today, and, uh, that's the principal. So, I guess we should just give it to him, or leave it on his desk or something? Oh, he's still here. We should really tell him about the red door, too. I mean, since we're here anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad that you're still here, then. Aw, he's such a nice guy. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, are you missing an inkbrush? Did you accidentally throw it away? Did it maybe fall off your desk or something, then a janitor picked it up? Thinking it was trash? Oh, yeah. Glad we could help. Oh, near the water fountains? What were you doing with this ink brush near the water fountains? You were cleaning it in the water fountains? Um, okay. Why wouldn't you clean it in a sink? That's just odd. Well, maybe it has some sort of sentimental value. Maybe his parents gave it to him. Or a gift from an old friend. Really? Hmm. I wonder. 
if Reen's master is also the principal's friend. Oh, yeah, you really don't have time for that now, do you? Oh, well, no problem. Ooh, what do you have? What do you have? Ooh, the Holy Sphere. Nice. That's an accessory that gives you plus 800 HP and prevents death blows. So that's really, really handy to have around. Mostly for the um, preventing death blows. Because those could be a major pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're probably right, Rain. Well, that was a pretty quick quest. So the next thing that I want to do, head on over towards the engineering building and talk to George, because now we have some character profile updating to do. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. You probably shouldn't, uh go in there unaccompanied. Uh oh. Oh, poor George. Wow. Wow, you know, not all people who are bigger enjoy fattening food. Sometimes it just is what it is. But this game kind of goes out of its way to make fun, well, really to make fun of Margarita's weight. Not really so much to make fun of George's weight, but it's there. And then we need to update Friedel's character profile as well. Apparently she beat the crap out of Patrick, and you'll learn more about that during the NPC bonus dialogue videos. Oh, the terror of the fencing club? Whoa! Man, who knew? But the next thing that I want to do is head on over to the rooftop, because, uh, Celine is up here, and I pretty much just want to give her some milk. That's about it. Meow, Celine. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, so let me just, um, cut here for just a second. Sorry about that, I just wanted to do Laura's bonding event, which I'm going to be showing during the end slate. So, I did all this NPC dialogue off-screen as well, so let's head on out of here. Oh, yeah, we better go write the report. Yeah, maybe next month. Who knows? Oh, you're headed back to Ring? Yeah. You all on your way back then? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit bushed today. I figured it was about time to return to the dorms, too. <sighs> to be honest, I was hoping to get some more studying in. But since everyone else was going back... <laughs> Good old peer pressure. Oh, aren't Laura and Fee with you? I'm afraid not. We looked for them, but they were nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're old enough to find their own way back. I guess you're right, but it's a shame we couldn't all go back together. Reen? Huh? Hmm. Uh, who is that girl? Isn't that uniform... police? When did you... What? I is that your sister? The one and only. W what are you doing here, Elise? And this late in the day, too. Look deep in your heart and you'll find your answer. What? It's a pleasure to meet all of you. I'm Elise, Reen's sister. I apologize for cutting in, but would it be possible for me to borrow him for a while? It's been a while, huh? Must be six months since I saw you? Seven? Yeah. The last time I saw you was when I came back to Ymir at the end of last year. But I always thought we'd have a chance to meet up after you enrolled here. I'm sorry. I wanted to meet you out here, too. It's just... I've been so busy lately. Besides, it's not easy to get permission to leave St. Astraea's campus, is it? That's entirely beside the point. Heimdall is just 30 minutes from Trista by train. Add 20 more minutes travel time to get from Central Station to my school. But I suppose you're so tied up that even 50 minutes is too much time to spare for a little visit. Hmm. I'm sorry. I really am. 
I kept being hit with classwork, exams, field studies. <sighs> but you're right. I probably could have made time if I'd made that a priority. It's just that... Yes? Well, it's just that when I saw you last year, you seemed kind of distant. I thought maybe you'd started to find me a bother, so I figured it'd be best to just stay out of your way, I guess. I was never distant. Maybe it seemed that way because, well, it's kind of a personal thing. I'd rather not talk about it. If something's bothering you, you know you can always tell me about it. It, it doesn't matter. What does matter is that I've never thought of you as a bother, ever. And I swear on Adios's name that I never will. R really? I'm happy to hear that. All right, then. I'm going to clear up some time to come to the capital and see you. Promise. And you're always welcome to come visit me here, too. R really? <coughs> I'm glad to hear it. After growing up together, you're the last person I'd want to feel distant from. <laughs> you're right. So... Is that what you came all the way out here to talk about? Seems a little overbearing just for that. Well, our lack of communication has definitely been on my mind. But that's not the main reason I came here today. Do you really not know why I came? Should I? Oh, that's the last letter I sent to you, isn't it? Oh, did you come for the souvenir I got you on our trip to the Nord Highlands? I found this cute accessory there that I figured you'd like. You did? Wait, no, that's not why I came either. The issue here is the final part of your letter. It's possible that after I graduate, I'll join the army. Even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live. I really want to repay Mom and Dad for all they've done for me, so I'd appreciate your help with that at some point. I'm looking forward to catching up with you. Hope you're doing well. Reen Schwarzer. What did you mean by, even if I don't, though, I doubt I'll be coming back home to live? Or by wanting to repay mother and father? You make it sound as though you intend to sever ties with them. You can't honestly be thinking that you're going to quietly bow out of succeeding father as head of the family, are you, Reen? That's exactly what I'm thinking. I have no intention of becoming the head of the family or the next Baron Schwarzer. <sighs> What's so surprising about that? I was adopted. I wasn't born into a nobleman's life. The best thing would be for you to marry a good man and have him succeed Dad as Baron. That doesn't even make sense! You might not be related to us by blood, but you're still father's only son. And the right of adopted children to succeed their family name is recognized under Imperial law. Yeah. If the adopted child is of noble blood. At least that's how it's gone in most cases. And I'm not. Oh. What am I? Some abandoned kid that Dad found buried in a blizzard 12 years ago. I couldn't even remember where I was from. Or life before that. Just my name. And when he chose to take me in as his son, Dad became the hot topic of high society. People called him eccentric, crazy... Some of them even accused him of being unfaithful to Mom. One even asked him to his face if he intended to open wide the gates of the nobility to some low-born bastard. At some point, he got tired of dealing with all of it. He started to avoid leaving Ymir, and eventually, he stopped showing his face at all among the nobility. Except on rare occasions. I've caused a lot of trouble for our family. And I really don't want to cause any more than I already have. I doubt I'll be able to leave the Schwarzer name behind. But at the very least, I want you and Mom and Dad to have the respect you deserve with your peers. After all, you'll be 16 next year, making your debut into high society. <sighs> I know it might seem extreme to you, but try to understand how I feel. I'll still visit Ymir. It's not like I want to just walk out of your lives altogether. That's not it. I mean... Mom and Dad have always looked out for me, and that's a debt I'll never... You don't get it. What? You don't get it at all. You don't understand how Father feels. You don't understand how Mother feels. And you don't understand how I feel. Elise? <laughs> You're the worst! Why do you always have to be so stubborn? I hate you! I hate you! Elise... Well, 
What are you doing just standing there? What are you... Look, I'm sorry we might have overheard you, but that's beside the point right now. Don't just stand there. Go after her. She was crying. <sighs> I know this isn't a simple problem, but you can't just leave things like they are. She needs you. Indeed. You have a duty to her as family. Okay. I will. If you see her around, let her know I'm looking for her. We will. So get going. <laughs> You've got a slap or two coming when you do find her, I'd wager. Why would Reen want to give up his birthright? That's so odd to me. You know, he was adopted, and his family loves him, and that's the only family that he's ever known. Mother, father, sister, and he just wants to give it all up because of something that he had no control over? Something that happened to him as a child? It's not even something that he did. It was literally something that happened it's to no him. It's use. I can't sense her anywhere. I need to start looking around the entire campus. Actually... We don't. But at this point, new NPC dialogue happens, and we'll be showing that during the uh, bonus video as well. We only need to talk to a couple of people. And we'll start over here in the Academy Field by talking to Fee. Let's see, I believe that she's kind of over here. There she is. Hey there, Fee. What's going on? Oh. Who? Are you talking about Elise? You weren't even there! Oh, they called you and told you. Your Jaeger Sixth Sense isn't coming in handy? Maybe Gaius's sense is coming in handy right now, but then again, Reen has some sort of Sixth Sense as well, and he doesn't seem to know where uh, she is either. Here's the thing. You don't know that you're not a noble. You don't know that there's not a drop of noble blood in me. You were abandoned as a child. You don't remember your past. You don't remember your biological parents. For all you know, they were noble. Hell, for all you know, they became the queen. You know, you don't know. You just assume that you're a commoner. Oh. Oh. Yeah, poor Fee. I guess. I guess Reen feels kind of bad complaining about his parents whenever Fee never had parents either, and she never really even had a loving family. She just had Jaegers. You know, that's pretty awful. Yeah, so, Rain, you probably shouldn't complain about your upbringing whenever Fee's was so much worse. Okay, let's see. Head off to the gymnasium and talk to our other noble in charge over here. Hey, Laura. Ah, okay. Well, she's obviously not in the gym. I guess you got a telephone call in your Arcus too, from all of our eavesdropping classmates. Oh, yeah. That is true. Oh, well, what's that? Oh. Why would you want to escape that life? It seems like a kind of a cushy life to me. I would be all about it, personally. Oh, yeah. Reen's like, uh, Laura has some issues. I'm just gonna let her, uh, take care of those on her own. I don't really want to deal with all that right now, so bye, Laura. Then the next person, or the last person that we get to talk to, is Toa. I don't really know how Toa knows about all this. Like, people are calling her as well, like, seriously? I don't know. Oh, she doesn't know. We have to talk to her anyway, though. Yeah. Oh. Well, you guys probably wouldn't see her cooped up in this room. Maybe you should, like, go talk to somebody who's wandering outside? That would make a lot more sense to me. Wow, Angelica. Wow. Could you, like, stop thinking down there? Like, you know, think using your brain.
Oh, well, thanks. Ah, oh, okay, that's a really good idea. I'm sure you're bound to run into her then. Yeah, send all your lackeys out to try to find her. Okay. Yeah, thanks. But where could Elise possibly be? Find out next time. Let's play Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.